Vmax is the maximal velocity that can be achieved by an enzyme under the special case of saturating substrate concentration. Km is a lumped rate constant, incorporating all the rate constants for ES and P formation, K1, K-1, and K2. It is equal to the substrate concentration that gives one-half saturation of the enzyme. It is therefore also equal to the substrate concentration at one-half the Vmax. For a reaction that follows the Michaelis-Menten kinetic model, the Km is inversely related to the proportion of total enzyme, or ET, which is in complex with substrate. In other words, the higher the Km, the lower the fraction of enzyme with a bound substrate. Although loosely related, the Km is not the same as the enzyme's affinity for substrate, for it also takes into account the decomposition of the ES complex to product. The most useful definition for Km is that it is a constant that describes the dependence of V0 on S and dictates the steepness of the shape of the Michaelis-Menten curve. Experiment with the sliders to change Vmax and Km. Note how the shape of the line changes with Km. To help you understand the hyperbolic relationship between the substrate concentration and the rate of an enzyme-catalyzed reaction, which is described by the Michaelis-Menten equation, we will now demonstrate a kinetic experiment. To experimentally determine the relationship between substrate concentration and initial velocity, a biochemist sets up a series of test tubes for the reaction. Each tube contains a constant amount of enzyme, but the amount of the substrate placed in each tube varies. For easy analysis, the biochemist often chooses a substrate that yields a product that has a different color or different fluorescence. In order to measure the initial velocity, the reaction is only run for a short length of time. This is done so that only a small percentage of substrate is converted into product, and therefore there will be no kinetic contribution from the reverse reaction of product formation, and K-2 can still be ignored. The amount of product formed over time is monitored. The amount of product formed divided by the brief time of incubation is the slope of the early linear phase of the reaction. This rate of product formation is the initial velocity of the reaction. Note that the tubes containing the most substrate yield the highest initial velocities. A plot of initial velocity versus substrate concentration yields a hyperbolic curve consistent with the Michaelis-Menten model of enzyme activity. The important kinetic parameters Vmax and Km can be estimated from this graph. The Vmax is the point where the enzyme is fully saturated and cannot achieve a higher initial velocity Vmax and is therefore the upper limit for V0. The Km is the substrate concentration that corresponds to one-half of the Vmax. More precise values for Vmax and Km can be obtained by using a curve-fitting program. Remember that the Michaelis-Menten equation is a mathematical expression for a hyperbola.